right guys, I did it. I came back out to the field and I wanted to get my antenna resonant and I do believe I have. Let's take a look. Okay everyone, thanks for tuning in with me. I just wanted to say that last video I made, I got tons and tons of comments. If you're interested in my experiments here, go back to my last video. I'm gonna call it a part one and this is a part two. Go back there and read the comments if you wanna learn a lot about, well, I got so many good comments, like every one of them was interesting. And there was a common thread there that this car is clearly messing with this antenna. Well, a lot of people said it should be on top of the car, you know, get a magnet mount or a bolt, bolt type mount. And then the car can act as a ground plane, which I totally agree with. Um, but my experiments here were to quick set up and camp right over here, you know. So today I added this little piece right here. I'll try to show you a close up, but this is a problem I was having last time. I was having trouble getting this spade type mount in here. So I made a connector. I actually made two different connectors in case I wanted to put even more radials on here. So that was a quick and easy little project that I did. Okay, before you, before this video started, I actually tried, I actually tried using this. Uh, this is the uh, coil MP super, super antenna coil. I actually tried putting this and then the, that antenna on top and I couldn't get the SWR down at all. You know, I didn't mess around with it too much. So what I did get to work was this MFJ antenna, and I'll put a link in the description. Uh, this MFJ antenna, I, I experimented going all the way up, but I'm almost got it shorted out and completely here. But this coil, I have it all the way up to the top and I've got a low SWR now. I've got four radials. This is 20 meters we're talking about. 17 feet, 17 feet, 17 feet, and 17 feet. And check it out, 1.03 SWR. It's very good SWR, very, very happy with that. But I had to use a coil. Sir, please explain to me how this is working with the coil and not without. And so this setup works very well at 1.0 SWR. And I made more radials, and these are, these are for 40 meters. I did the same thing. I connected four radials and I also marked it here so I wouldn't, I wouldn't forget in six months from now to this spade type connector, which I can connect right into there. And this is uh, four radials for 33 feet each. Probably a little overkill, but that should work for 40 meters. That's a quarter wave, 33 feet's about a quarter wave. Okay guys, uh, I will just say right now, I'm glad I moved to Oklahoma. It is November 1st, and all you guys that live up north, enjoy your cold weather. Ha ha ha, just kidding. A part of the reason I moved here is because the, well, we still have mosquitoes apparently, but we, I moved here because it was warmer and I could do more stuff like this even into November and hopefully December and maybe even January, who knows. Um, I'm gonna be doing a lot more experiments like this. So I'm real happy with this setup and I'm able to adjust it with the coil. I know there's gonna be some give and take with using a coil, I know that. Someone suggested you might as well use a, at this point, you might as well use an antenna tuner. Well, yeah, probably, maybe, I don't know. But the same thing as I was saying, this is a quick and easy setup. And I solved the problem of the connector uh, very well. So the next thing I wanna do is set up, maybe uh, make radials for 30 meters, maybe 40 meters, maybe even make another set of radials that does both. Maybe I've got two radials for 40, two for 30, and maybe a set that has two for 40, two for 30, and then two for 20 meters. That way I can just mix and match and change and do all this, but I mean, I can get a low SWR. I'm looking at a, a magnet mount and po possibility of uh, drilling a hole in the top of this or something. I've, I bought an antenna from Hustler. It's a 20 meter antenna, and I think it's gonna go even faster than this, but I still am having a ball, and I wanted to have a coil. And so, all right guys, thanks for joining me. And we'll see you next time on the next experiment.